What if I told you that everything you're reading online on qualities and benefits of specific brackets is kind of BS? Let's look behind the marketing at research and clinical experience. By comparing traditional and latest and greatest self-ligating bracket, I will let you know not only how to decide between them, but which are the most efficient and which look the best. It might not be the ones you expect. The looks. With traditional braces, you get to have fun. You can wear them as an accessory. One month you can match them to your eyes or you can match them to your nail polish. When you have a big party coming up, you can pick a color of the dress you're going to wear and match it with the elastic. You own the fact that you are wearing braces and you wear them with pride. On the other hand, if you're older, if you're in a serious corporate job, if you're into minimalism or even a bit embarrassed of having to wear braces, then maybe take a look at self-ligating brackets. If when you see all the colorful ligature ties that you can have with braces and the ones resonating with you the most are the gray ones, transparent ones, white ones, then you might just as well go with the self-ligating brackets which will give you that cleaner, more aesthetic look. When it comes to clear braces, they come in both variants, traditional and self-ligating. However, take a look. Does this look good to you? They kind of seem like you're trying to hide something, but you can't. The problem with clear braces is that they're worse in every single aspect. They're up to 10 times more expensive. They get dirtier, easier, depending on the material that they're made of, but every single material has different negative sides. They are slower to move teeth, they, they chip easier, they break easier. When you're removing them it's much more difficult and, even, and we can even damage your tooth in the process. I never recommend clear brackets unless the patient specifically asks for them and even then I would usually, even though the price is much higher, I would usually steer them in the other direction and then if they insist, go for it. Okay, doc, but other than looks, do they work differently? How do I choose if the aesthetics are not that important to me? All brackets work the same way, by engaging the wire in the slot of the bracket. How it is engaged by the elastic or the metal door is the difference. However, that will not affect the final result. Think of the brackets as a tool in your doctor's kit. He might prefer a hammer to a mallet, but the result will still depend on his skill. You still don't believe it really doesn't matter. I understand because all the articles and everything online and even doctors have been pushing self-ligating brackets so much over the last few decades. Let's quickly go through all the supposed benefits of self-ligating brackets and how they panned out over the last 30 years of continuous research and clinical use. And in the end, I will tell you when is the time that I personally push the patient towards self-ligating brackets. Better hygiene. Let's be clear. Hygiene depends on the patient and his routine, how long he brushes, how often, etc. SLB brackets have less friction. Yes, yes, they do have less friction. However, friction is not always bad. Even when we are talking about teeth alignment, where we kind of want that frictionless movement, and it is one of the benefits that that alignment is quicker with self-ligating brackets, in the later stages, we might want friction. When we are closing spaces, depending on the mechanics that we use, we might want to introduce friction or we might want less friction. And even if we are looking at the supposed benefits of frictionless, frictionless teeth alignment, it seems to be a bit faster. I saw this research that showed that uh, by using self-ligating brackets, they achieved 10 days faster teeth alignment. 10 days in orthodontics where the therapy lasts between uh, 16 and 24 months or even longer is nothing. It's not something to worry about. Less pain. Again, here it kind of makes sense. Uh, we strive to have continuous forces where the force on the teeth does not degrade. The changing of the force levels, whether it's becoming stronger or weaker, that is something that can cause pain. In here, 
uh, when we put the elastic on the wire, it degrades over time. With metal doors, it's supposed to stay the same. However, the force of the tooth depends much, much more on the arch itself, the thickness of the arch, the material of the arch. Besides, as orthodontists, we kind of want to avoid pain. Pain is showing us that the movement is not optimal. We want you to feel something, some changes in your teeth, like tingling sensation or something, but if it is strictly pain, that is not something we want. And we would avoid that by other ways. For example, the simplest way would be to go down the arch size, not by changing the bracket. Faster therapy is again something that's been disproven over the years. Even in the studies that show faster therapy times, they, they would show you that it's like one month or one checkup less that you need with self-ligating bracket. What usually happens is that that initial phase is quicker with self-ligating bracket. The first phase where we align teeth to the arch and that phase is generally the easiest where you are relieving crowding and just expanding everything and aligning teeth. That is the quicker phase, somewhat quicker, not much. Then what happens is that that last finishing phase, the, for me personally, most difficult phase, where we want to get that last few degrees of rotation on a tooth or torque on a tooth, that is a bit slower with self-ligating brackets. So it kind of pans out. It's not faster. Even, even if it was, it would have been negligible. Less chair time. This is the big one that they're touting on every Congress when they have the lecture on the self-ligating brackets. It's marketed that you're going to get your patient in and out quicker. First of all, that shouldn't be your goal. Second of all, when you're measuring how long it takes to open and close brackets or ligate them on and off, that timing is measured in seconds and it's ignoring all the other things that you have to do on the appointment, which take much more time than the ligating itself. Less checkups. Again, here as well, this is a lie. The number of checkups or how often you should come for a checkup depends on your treatment plan, not the brackets used. Even if I was using the traditional brackets and I wanted to have the next checkup in three months because for example patient is traveling you could use instead of the elastics which will degrade let's be clear they will degrade after about three to four weeks you can tie the metal ligatures around your teeth which will work very similarly to the self-ligating brackets in that aspect and again when you look at the research less checkups usually means one less checkup that is nothing when you're having 26. Less extractions. Less extractions has been pushed by Damon specifically. When I came to orthodontics, we already knew that Damon braces and their school of orthodontics ruined so many faces and smiles and teeth. Whether you're doing extractions or not, does not depend on the bracket used, which is something that Damon marketed, that they can expand arches, thus removing the need for extractions. What we got was extreme cases of bone loss and protrusion and periodontal problems that we steered away from that completely. So these days they're not marketing that at all. However, because internet is internet, it all stayed there. Their former marketing stayed up and you can still read about this stuff. Whether we are doing extractions or not does not depend on the brackets itself. As you can see, while there are some benefits with Damon and other SLB brackets, it's not that big of a deal. Your orthodontist might even prefer working with one or the other, and that's his right. However, to say that one is the better than the other is a very hard sell these days. That is not to say that SLB brackets do not have their place. Let's take a look at when I recommend them. I recommend them specifically to two groups of patients. First group is patients who are out of town or even out of the country. With them, I prefer using self-ligating brackets just because the elastics on them don't degrade. They don't have elastics, at least until you start using chains. In those cases, we can have appointments every two or three months it's not ideal, but for them, it's the best they can do. The group number two is patients who have moderate crowding. Their bite is correct. This is the very important part, that their bite is correct. 
but their crowding is kind of in between whether I want to do extractions or just align teeth by protruding and expanding the arches. In those cases, to me, from my experience, it seems that self-ligating brackets are doing a bit better of a job. I kind of, with a gentle push, steer them in the direction of self-ligating brackets just because it seems to be more preferable from my experience. Those two cases are the only ones where I will push for self-ligating brackets. For everybody else, I will either let them choose or by default use traditional cheaper braces. Now, if you're wondering where else is marketing and social media pushing misinformation, take a look at this video where I talk about extractions in modern day orthodontics.